site was chosen for its strategic position in North East Wales. The castle was, on, was only one day's march from Chester. Supplies could be brought along the River Dee and there was by a ford across the, to England that could be used at low tide. Construction Building work began in 1277 initially under Richard Lengenar who would later become Mayor of Chester in 1304 The castle and its two earthworks were built by 18,000 labourers and masons using local millstone, grit assault and sandstone. Surveyor D. Master Mason James of St. George was assigned Ordi Andron, Opera Castorium Ibidem to undertake the works of the same castle works. Referring to all Welsh castle building projects in April 1278. November 1280 saw him beginning directly overseeing construction at Flint for Edward I. As the initially very slow construction pace was accelerated. He reminded at the castle, castle for 17 months. James of St. George then moved on to Rudland to oversee its completion. When work ceased in 1277, Flint Castle had an inner ward and outer bailey. They were separated by a tidal moat and were connected with gatehouse and the drawbridge. A plantation town was also laid out beyond the outer bailey. The inner ward had three large towers and a detached keep. This isolated the tower, protected the inner gatehouse and outer bailey in total expenditure. Edward I spent £6.068.75 d creating the fortress and the town. £5.4 million as of 2008. Flint on the western shore of the River Dee, estuary could be supplied by river or sea. Its harbour was protected by a defensive wall. The castle lies opposite to the English shore and Shotwick Castle in England. Before the course was changed in 18th century, passage across the estuary at this point could be made directly by boat at high tide or by fording at low tide. Unique fortress design. The castle is based on Savio Yard models where one of the corner towers is enlarged and isolated. This independent structure served as both corner tower and keep or donjon like at D. Duran, France. Flint's Keep has been compared to the donjon 
at Arg S. Mortes, France. Edward I may have been familiar with Arg S. Mortes, having passed through the fortress on the way to join the Eighth Crusade in 1270. An alternative possibility is the influence of Jean Messot O. Uh, James of St. George. Messot, having worked in southern France before, influencing St. George in Savory. The castle at Flint has also been described as a classic car savoyard as it's very similar to Wyverdon Castle. Its ground dimensions are a third bigger, but it shares the classic shape and style along with the use of the corner tower as keep donjon. Most high historians attribute this to input from Edward's premier architect and castle builder James of St. George. Although construction began in 1277 and James of St. George didn't begin work at Flint Flintshire until 1280. He was in England from 1278 and was described as ad audien andum opera castorium ibidum that is charged with the design of the works at Flint, Flintshire. The keep is an impressive structure its stone walls are 7 metres, which is 23 feet thick at the base, and 5 metres, 16 feet above. Access was gained by crossing a drawbridge into a central entrance chamber on the first floor. Originally, there would have been at least one additional storey. These floors had small rooms built into thick walls. A timber gallery was built on top of the keep for the visit of Edward, Prince of Wales in 1301. On the ground floor is a vaulted passage that runs all the way round the inside of the keep. Flint's design was not repeated in any other castle built by Edward, the first in North Wales. The layout at Flint remains unique within the British Isles. History Flint was the first castle of what would later become known as Edward I Iron Ring, a chain of fortresses designed to encircle North Wales and oppress the Welsh. Its construction began almost immediately after Edward I began the First Welsh War in 1277. Five years later, Welsh forces under the command of Dafaid ap Gruffaid, brother of Lawlen ap Gruffud, besieged the castle in an attempt uprising against the English. Crown in 1294, Flint was attacked again during the revolts of Madog ap Lawelen 
this time the constable of the castle was forced to set fire to the fortress to prevent its capture by the Welsh. The castle was later repaired and partly rebuilt. With the conclusion of the Welsh Wars, English settlers and merchants were given property titles in the new town that was laid out in front of the castle. The plantation borough was protected by a defensive ditch with a wooden palisade on earth ban king. Its outline remains visible in streets patterns. In 1399, Richard II of England and was held by Henry Bolingbroke at Flint before being returned to London. During the English Civil War, Flint was held by the Royalists. It was finally captured by the Parliamentarians in 1647 after a three month siege. To prevent its reuse in the conflict, the castle was then slighted in accordance with Cromwell's destruction order. The ruins are what remain today. By the 19th century, part of the site's outer bailey was used as Flintshire's County Jail. A quarry operated nearby.